Hi friends, I am Darmala Shri from Smart Leaders IAS. Uh, now shall we discuss the topics which came on Feb 3rd. So here we will see about two articles. One is about Aishman Bharat and other one is about forging a new nuclear deal. Let us move on to the topic now. So the first article is about Aishman Bharat. This article came uh, came on budge, budget issue because budget it uh, promised us Aishman Bharat which is a giving national health protection scheme. It is very simple health insurance scheme for all uh, poor and vulnerable citizens. In this article, we will see about the challenges and uh, way forward. Here, our uh, UPSC focus area. So, what are the area related to healthcare and uh, the primary healthcare and all? So, 2016, there is a question asked: realms of primary education and the primary healthcare. I have already mentioned in my previous video also. And here, there is another question. In 2015, it is a direct question: the role of private uh, private sector in providing healthcare sector, healthcare uh, challenges and uh, and healthcare delivery to India. So challenges in achieving universal health coverage and the role of private sector, is there any other alternative was the 2015 question for us in mains. And the next one is uh, we can uh, see now, so what sort of questions can be asked in uh, near to this Aishman Bharat and the peripheral with respect to healthcare. Uh, so here we can expect uh, health policy 2017 which is a new policy which promises 2.5 GDP in 2025 for health sector. And Aishman Bharat, because it is lauding as the world's largest health insurance uh, scheme, in which is uh, higher than the Obama Care, or it is dubbed as Modi Care. And next one is Health Protection Scheme. And generally, what is the Health Protection Schemes and its challenges is on how far private sector is not able to provide its promise. And next one is the uh, main is in the I mean public healthcare service delivery because it is very poor and UPSC can can be very much interested in asking this area. So let us move on to the topic now. What is the main crux of the article? Here, author says there are so many components in the healthcare sector. So the first one is providing health centers, that is access to the health. And the second one is drug availability, that is essential drug availability. So access to the medicines and the affordable medicines. The next one is national health protection scheme. So it is a one part. So national health protection is not alone the panacea for or giving entire health sector, health uh, system to the citizen. So next uh, point what author is speaking about national health protection scheme which gives 5 lakh rupees insurance for each person and uh, uh, in a family almost which covering uh, 10 crore poor and the vulnerable citizens of the India. So this is the highlight of this budget as well. So here author says based on our past experiences and the southern states are providing excellent healthcare uh, schemes uh, with the help of private sector we need to underline the challenges in this. So our past experiences and unregulated private sectors also uh, pave a way in implementing this national health protection scheme more workable. And the next one is efficiency and the potential of the national health protection scheme. We need to watch it very closely because already sad, uh, southern states are suffering because it is, uh, pro private sectors are not able to provide what they uh, what they ask. Uh, what others is the challenge is biggest biggest challenge is here. It is a roadmap for implementation. So we will see the challenges now. So what are the main challenges in the National Health Protection Scheme? First one is calculation of premium. Um, one report says that calculation of premium that is one, per person can uh, sp spend to the government for getting this scheme, National Health Protection Scheme, will be amount to 10,000. And or the government can uh, spend up to 10,000 per person per year. But it is not workable under the budget promise given in this year. And Nithya Ayak says government can sponsor up to 1500 per year. So here also it, it shows that it may not be workable uh, because of the calculation of premium and we are not getting any um, workable uh, calculation number here. So this is a main point. And the next one is participation of states. So far government uh, uh, is aspiring for 60 into 40 that is 60 percent of central uh, government share and 40 percent of state share. Already few states have started working this national health insurance and uh, schemes. In, in terms of their own state health insurance schemes. So here we need to focus more and we are already burdening because of implementing GST and other things. So states whether it is ready to do or not is another question. So here is the other challenge and we, uh, whether a center can support the state is a next question. And the next uh, main part is poor infrastructure. It is, it is still prevailing in, in so many healthcare centers, especially public healthcare centers. And the next one is, fixing the broken healthcare system because primary healthcare it is 
uh, not at linked with the secondary and the secondary is not linked with the tertiary so this is the main area so we need to fix this thing and the next one is uh, private sectors are concentrating much more in tertiary care so they are not coming to the grassroots level so this is another area of concern and only for getting tertiary care we can use this insurance in the private hospitals this is another area of question and the next one is reports are saying non hospitalized care impoverishes the indian households actually a non hospitalized care here it about diabetes and other uh, related issues is, but what what health insurance schemes generally given as for a uh, surgery kind of things or any other things so it it is paving a main way for hospitalized care not for non hospitalized care and uh, some reports suggest that mm, it uh, non hospitalized care it is um, actually uh, citizens are paying more i mean out of pocket of out of pocket expenditure for citizens are high in the non hospitalized care rather than the hospitalized care so giving insurance and uh, collating with the private sector it is no, it is not benefiting the citizen and uh, we are taking a step uh, which is not closing uh, the gap and we are widening the gap between the citizens and the affordable medicines in india so this is a other main concern and the next one is frequency of hospitalized care and the health insurance scheme it is almost only 35% so we are missing the 65% part so here we need to focus more and what is the way forward so the way forward first one is linking hospitals and the institution like how far the standards are maintaining in the private hospitals how far the insurance is uh, given to the uh, given in the private hospitals or in the public hospitals how how it is monitored so we need to connect the institutional thing like regulatory bodies or independent bodies to check and monitor the insurance scheme so this is how we are missing here so we need that linking of hospitals and with the help of existing institutions and the next one is community engagement and the primary health care so this is an another fallout area we are missing again and again to provide the health care as a holistic thing and the next one is uniform pricing system because now we are introducing national health protection scheme as a nation whole so now we need to fix the standards and the pricing system uh, like for diagnosing and on for clinical tests so how what are the procedure has to be done and what sort of money they can get so these are the standards and guidelines that every private hospital has to follow and the government hospital has to follow and how much price will be calculated so that the uh, uh, unethical practices of few or uh, many private hospitals can be checked here and the next one is clarity role in the private player whether private player has to be a part of this national healthcare protection system or the private player can uh, can do us uh, supply and logistics things or a private player can do in terms of uh, taking the data or providing the research or uh, in providing generic medicines or any other role or in digitization and so we need to clarify the area of private players in in a better way so that national health protection scheme can be workable and the next one is now it is our right time because we are implementing in uh, whole india level so relevance of technology and the digitization are the key to mention we all know that if we want to reap our biggest benefits like the, uh, that is our demographic dividend the human capital has to be utilized in a more efficient way so in order to utilize our human capital well, the health is a most important asset and the healthy workforce is our uh, important asset and we need to take care of that and we'll go to the next topic that is forging a new nuclear deal so what is this article ab about so this article says that nuclear deal we have signed with us almost a decade ago and now it's a time to change our uh, equations in the nuclear deal because the world situations are changing it is not the same in the 2008 and we are in the under area that that is we are moving very fast and our engine needs to be speeded so our energy basket has to be widened not depending only upon the nuclear so this these are the two broad areas in this forging a new nuclear deal so let us move on to our uh, upsc focus areas so in 2017 the question is about questions of energy security and west asian relation so we can expect a direct question like uh, nuclear energy and the, and its international relation with west and the east and uh, with the north also like russia ukraine and uh, you can expect canada and uh, we can expect australia also so it can be a direct question or it can be an other direct question or it's a time to change or it's a time to wind up the nuclear uh, deals with the west or kind of thing and uh, the classic questions like npt and the nuclear security group we can expect a lot in this area so uh, please uh, try to prepare all this area in a very holistic way also we can expect a question from renewable energy in the sector because nuclear energy is uh, 
it is actually closing down on the west and everyone is focusing towards the solar energy like uh, geothermal energy and the wind energy so weather question can be also in this way also so next the future role of civil nuclear energy itself we'll move to the article now so the main crux of the article is as i've told an uh, indo us nuclear deal civil nuclear deal which was signed in 2008 uh, so and its take off it is not yet taken off because 2015 we have signed another deal with obama uh, when he came here but it is not yet taken off and the next one is now uh, what is promised in the uh, obama period it is not continuing now because of trump's presidency in the us and the next one is now what is our requirement so based on our requirement whether we can go for indigenous or whether we can see uh, other suppliers or whether we can see other energy itself so that is our india's requirement at the present and our needs and our ways and our uh, suppliers like other suppliers like russia he is very reliable partner and uh, france is also uh, coming to the tables now so in the march month we can expect so many articles with related to this and uh, now as of now the situation is not favoring to the nuclear because nuclear energy as a primary energy losing its market uh, losing its energy mix here so these are the uh, broadest crux of uh, broadest area which was mentioned in this article so we will see the analysis part now here nuclear companies like uh, ge and the toshiba they are experiencing a major loss that is why us is not able to um, take off its projects in india so this is this is the first reason so nuclear companies are on major loss and the second part is trump administration focuses on more on fossil energy rather than the nuclear energy because uh, trump walked out from the climate change that we all know climate change pact we all know and trump to walk out from so many trade deals and uh, in obama period it was promised us promised us to deliver a renewable energy fund and the technology transfer so now it is a biggest question whether they can uh, whether they can give to india or not so because he is focusing mainly towards uh, th that is turning back the wheel towards fossil fuels and the next one is uh, indigenous nuclear plants um, our present capacity in india it is about 6500 um, megawatts and now we have the biggest ambition and uh, to make it as 14600 megawatts in 2024 and for that we need to uh, install more new plants with our indigenous technologies so we are working on that continuously and the next one is i've mentioned earlier reliable partner is russia because even though they are delivering very slow in kudumkulam uh, nuclear plant they have delivered at last in a consistent way now the government is considering dealing with uh, russia in, in nuclear energy it is more because they are more reliable partner and delivering the promise and the next one is location factors also because the west uh, model of delivering the nuclear energy here and the installation of nuclear plants are based on the coastal areas but our reports our national report says that at uh, delivering in the coastal areas like uh, in the east coast or west coast these coasts are vulnerable to the tsunamis and other other areas so government is recommending planting in inner parts like karnataka or up or delhi etc so these plans are not uh, not based on the west model so we cannot rely best more for this nuclear plants so this is another issue that we need uh, we cannot rely upon the west again and the next one is uh, next month um, french president is going to come so we are, we can expect more negotiation from here also and then and i've mentioned the location factor and the next one is how far a common man can afford for getting a, a power from the nuclear energy that is a biggest question because we cannot afford more than 6.5 rupees per unit cost so here or uh, if the deals are getting delayed and delayed right in the because of western countries so the power cost is very high so we cannot afford to do that so what is the way forward way forward like like in uh, 2016 and 2017 and uh, as i've mentioned earlier nuclear energy losing its primary mix so solar and the wind power or uh, sector growth is uh, growth are very high so it grows about 16% and it grows about 32% so here we can see that at um, instead of focusing on nuclear energy which is very costly when compared to the solar and the wind energy and we are setting a higher targets for these two also so we can see, we can see these alternative sources and the next one is safety of the public also considered here because nuclear energy even still the fears of of uh, nuclear uh, nuclear uh, damage and from the incidents of fukushima so we are still hesitate to imp implant the nuclear sec nuclear power here and the next one is burdening cost for the people and the government so it is a time for india to frame a new nuclear deal with the countries when it is dealing uh, with the 
when it is dealing in the international relation so uh, the table can be changed now and uh, it is favoring india to lead the negotiation because india as a india as of now we if we want to uh, drive our nation towards seven percent gdp growth consistently we want to improve our energy three times more than the present in 2030 so we want and more energy so we are we are the largest growing ec uh, economy we are the largest uh, rising economy so it is the time for india to frame a new nuclear energy uh, when and dealing with the international relation and because still we are keeping nuclear energy as one of the pillars in our energy architecture so prepare well all the very best thank you